What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today your boy is a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie to ya. We went on Instagram and we asked you guys for me to ask questions to Janice that I'm afraid to ask. Mm -hmm. I hope that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so these are questions that I don't want to be asking her because I'm scared to find out the answer. Are you ready to get into this? I'm a little nervous. Hold on. Come I got a decent amount of responses or questions so i'm just gonna skim through them i don't know how many i'm gonna ask but i'm just gonna skim through them first question would you ever be cool with a and i hope i pronounce this right surrogacy surrogacy yeah does that mean like when mm. explain it so i i think i know what it is but i don't want to give out wrong information so surrogacy is basically when they take your i think i don't i'm not also somebody else is gonna carry our baby yeah yeah okay very, would you be cool simple. with that no I can see why. Starting off pretty light. Yeah, Starting well, pretty light. I, I would like to elaborate because I know people are gonna be like, why? I just feel like I wanna have my baby and I wanna have that experience. That so. type of connection? Yeah, so I feel like somebody else is giving whole birth to my child. To me, I just feel like that's kind of similar to adoption in a way. Even yeah. though it's your stuff, like, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, it's, it's not 100% like, ours. Well, it is. It'll be like. Well, I mean, is it your egg? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it is our kid, but yeah, I don't. I don't. I feel like you wouldn't be able to get that connection with the baby. Like, yeah. I feel like, like you'll be missing out on that. For example, like a big thing is breastfeeding. Like I wouldn't be able to breastfeed. I'm not lactating because I'm not the one pregnant. You I know didn't what I mean? Think about that. I did not think about that. So this woman is lactating and stuff like that to feed our baby. That's just weird to me. I don't know. Yeah. But no, no nothing against surrogacy. I'm just like it's just not for me. I don't think. Okay. All right. Next one. Have you ever been tempted to cheat on me? No. <laughs> what the fuck? Why are you laughing? Does it seem like a joke to you? <laughs> Why is that even a question? You I don't know. Me? Somebody asked it. I don't know. This guy went off. He asked mad questions. No, here. I'm never tempted to cheat. If I did, if it, if I don't want to be with someone, I'll just break up with them. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. With the wedding coming up, how do you feel about having my last name? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> you have no idea. You hate your last name. It's crazy. I don't know why. Uh, because like growing up everybody would say like uh should i even <laughs> i don't even know if i should say this i yeah, just but, think you just hate the name in general i think you just hate it it's like like it's that general you just hate the name yeah kind of i just feel like you know, i don't want to get too into that i just don't really i'm ex very excited to get rid of my last name i'm not gonna lie janice rivera has a ring to it <laughs> i'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna oh, Y'all gonna be sick of me. This one, I want you to be 100% truthful, bro. And it's okay. Like, you can answer this 100% truthful. Okay. If I were to die, would you move on? Like, if I died right now, you're 26, would you move on God in your forbid. life? God forbid. Yeah, they actually wrote that. They wrote God forbid in parentheses. I'm not afraid to die, though. Don't be stupid. <laughs> This guy is the biggest daredevil and he scares me. Literally, he does. Bro, when after, after this life, junkie. after this life, where you go? With God. They ain't nothing better than that. Why would you be scared? But we're not gonna get into that. Anyway, Why would you move on? Honestly, knowing myself, I wouldn't want to. But you're gonna be like, that's bullshit. I feel like you wouldn't want to. I feel like eventually you would though. Uh, I feel like after a couple of years, you definitely. I, I wouldn't know. want you to. I don't know. It's like to me, I just feel like there's only one person for me in my lifetime, and that's you. And if you're gone, I I've already had my person, so I don't care anymore. <laughs> Stop being a weirdo. <laughs> no, seriousness, like, I would want you to move on. I wouldn't want you to live the rest of your life, especially if you're 26. I wouldn't want you to live lonely. Like, that's horrible. Yeah, but I like being alone. You know this. Yeah, but I feel like isolation is dangerous. Mm. Like, that, that's not a good thing. <laughs> I don't know. What would you change about me if you could change anything? And you could be honest. Oh, um, I know I'm not perfect. Um, there's too many, huh? <laughs> no, I just I'm trying to think. There's two things, but I want to. I don't. Go ahead. Um, let's hear. Them. I wish you didn't care as much about cars that you, as much as you do. <laughs> Why? This is literally like half my life. Because it's a huge financial obligation. It's an expensive hobby. That's one. It is. However. Think about the M3. I made money off of that. I get it. I get it. I made a lot of money. Off Maybe that. that's more of me thinking of like the past you. Like, oh no, yeah, one hundred percent. I was in a bad situation. Bro. Now it's kind of different, so I don't care much about your car stuff. But if you would ask to pass me, I think that's what it would have been. But more so of like how dangerous it is that he likes to like race and he likes to do donuts, and it's just more of the dangerous factor. And now he wants to get into bikes. I think that is like what scares me. Like. 
bad. I want a bike so bad. He doesn't. He. I think you should have more fear than you have, and he doesn't. He's just. Oh, why would you want to live in fear? It's horrible. Why would it's you want not to living in fear. It's just like you don't have that voice that tells you not to do something. I do. I just don't listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Okay. Um, that or maybe a, I wish you were a little bit more romantic. A little bit more romantic. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? Like come up with like date ideas and it's interesting stuff that like you said that. that. It's very interesting that you said that. Because like I feel like you're always like, oh, you pick. And sometimes I don't even want to have to ask. I want you to know what I want to do based off of like who I am and what you think I would like. That's it. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> this this one's funny. Does she get annoyed or jealous by you being a car guy? Yeah. That's like, <laughs> I answered that one. <laughs> That's actually funny. How would you rate our first time? This We're is not going to fake and act so like it was this bad. magical time. This is so bad, but I really don't remember it. That does sound really bad. It does, but I don't remember it. Wasn't it on Christmas? No, it was not on Christmas. No, no I'm not going to say one. I'm, I remember when it was. I don't remember. Because I feel like there were so many times that it almost happened. That was the first time. That was the first time. <laughs> that was the first time. <laughs> I think because we were so young, I feel like it was like whatever we could do, whatever we did. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, take the opportunities when they were given to you. Yeah, I think that I wish it would have been probably different now. 100%. 100%. Yeah. But I think that's why I don't remember it. We didn't have much to work with, but that that's a whole nother story. Yeah, oh, I hate um, talking about stuff like that. <laughs> do you wish I had proposed sooner? I feel like that's obvious. Mm. I took eight years to propose for good reasons. If you guys don't know the reasons, I made a whole video on it. So go go back and watch. Mm -mm. You think you were fine with me waiting eight years? Yeah, because I feel like with all the stuff that we went through, we've been together since we were kids. I feel like you proposed at a perfect time when we're actual adults. I think it was a perfect time, to, <laughs> to be honest. Everyone says like you waited so long, but like to me, it didn't feel that way because we were still growing up. Yeah, we definitely were still growing up. We got together when we were like, 17 yeah 17 18 i feel like you're not you're an adult at 18 yeah but you're not yeah. really mature you know what i mean and we liked each other since we were freshmen yeah, we were since like we were like kids. 14 around that 13 yes yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. this one right here this one right here <laughs> i feel like i already know your answer knowing you okay. but here we go boy did you think he's hungry did you think chomping. it was small the first time you saw it no but that's because i don't have much to compare it to you know what i mean because i was her first and this is yes. exactly this is exactly the answer i knew you were gonna say really i knew you were gonna say that uh, yeah because well i don't i don't know because there wasn't much to compare it to i knew that was gonna be the answer i still don't it's good enough for me so and i'm not i was never the type to like look at other guys stuff i was never the type to look into that stuff so yeah do you think answer this 100 percent truthfully again do you think i'm gonna be a good dad Yes. I already see how you are, like with Blooper or like with your little brother. Like you're, it's crazy because I feel like you have a very nurturing side of you that like you don't like show often, but it does. I have a what it's side? natural. Nurturing. Oh. Like he's actually quite nurturing. Like you're really good at taking care of like people i get that from my grandma yeah i think so i like it's, it's, that's crazy because the other day like his little brother and his mom they stayed here and i'm like it's actually really good with messiah like that's my little brother's name yeah so i was just kind of like maybe you are ready to be a dad i am ready i've been ready to be a dad there's a lot that goes into having a child though i feel like you will be like oh there's gonna be so many shocks and all that but yeah i can tell you that that child will 100 percent be cared for and protected all its life of course so i'm just leave it at that <laughs> um what is your biggest fear in life keep it simple what does that have to be about you that's not i don't know i thought it was a good question <laughs> what's your biggest fear in life dying before i have a chance to actually be happy oh that's so depressing sorry i thought you screamed because he was doing something i thought no. he was eating something he wasn't supposed to um no that's just really depressing but it's true or like accomplishing what i want to accomplish in life like dying before that that's like what was the point of living then last question mm -hmm. is there anything you prefer for me to do in bed that would make it better is there anything i can do better in bed we're gonna say it like that i'm not gonna lie it'd be like a workout <laughs> it'd be like a workout she has endometriosis so sometimes it gets a little i was gonna say it's like not really you that's the problem <laughs> my ovaries are a huge issue so not really 
I guess that's good to hear on my end. Um, <laughs> yeah, he always just listens to me, so it's not like I mean, I hope I the guy like would listen. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't like something, like change it. That's it. Like okay, that wasn't that bad. I feel like I want to do a part two to this though, because these were actually really good questions. I know. I thought I was gonna be nervous. I'm chilling. No, there were some questions in there that were like a little too much. So yeah. I don't want to put you through that. If you guys want me to put her through that though, we can definitely do a part two. But you guys got to give. I mean, we could do more up. so putting me in the hot seat or whatever, because we never really did that. Okay, so let us know if you guys want us to do because we've done that before but we should do like a part two or part three or whatever of us in the hot seat mm -hmm. us asking each other questions vice versa or whatever yeah but yeah that is it for today's video anything else you want to say babe no that's it that wasn't too bad i was a little nervous i'm not gonna lie i was a little nervous Ow. that is it for today's video guys if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button down below comment down below any other videos that you guys want us to do also again don't forget to follow us on social medias right here and with all that being said we'll see you guys in the next video